Hello and welcome to this fitness video. My name is Colin and today we are getting our heart rate up as much as we can throughout the whole video. Around about 20 minutes we will be working for. Have some water nearby if you need it. We won't be stopping at any stage but just take on your fluid when you need it. We will be working at different levels to a degree. It all depends on your fitness so you need to decide what level you're going to work at. With, in terms of speed if you're working faster it will obviously be tougher if you do bigger movements it will be tougher if you need to you can go with slower movements you can go with smaller movements so there are your different levels that you will work at either way try and keep working throughout if you find things are getting a little bit too tough just slow it down a little bit keep moving right to the end of the video so we're on our feet let's bring ourselves up Starting off nice and tall. Remember, smaller movements is easier. Start off marching on the spot. Getting the arms working, bigger with the shoulders if you can. Any issues in the shoulders, then go with smaller movements. Any issues in the hips, the lower back, the knees, ankles, whichever, you can take it at a slower pace. If you can get them up a little bit higher, do. And you can always do this video after you've done some other form of exercise if you want. Maybe you've been out for a walk, out around the garden, doing a little bit of work, whichever. And you're already, uh, you're already after been working a little bit. In which case, you can pick up the pace a little bit from the start. So it all depends on your fitness level and where you're starting from. Pick it up a little bit more. So again, we're not working too fast too soon. At any stage, you can... You can slow it down a little bit if you need to, but again, remember, let's keep working throughout. Any issues in the joints, any pain, and it doesn't feel right, then ease it up and just take a little bit of a modified exercise. Go with a less height in this type of an exercise. Let's get the hands pushing out in front. Nice big movements again. We want full movement. We want to get those shoulders working. We want to get that hat rate up. Pick the knees up if you can. Remember, as we're working up and down with the legs, as you hit the ground, I'm on a nice soft carpet here in my sitting room, but if, if you're on a hard floor, remember, every time you hit the floor, then it's gonna transfer up along the body. So any lower back issues, keep it comfortable. Just don't hit, keep it soft on the, on the ground. If you push those feet into the ground too hard, then it will transfer up and it can, you might have a little bit of back pain the next day or, the, or that day, whichever. Other than that, keep it working. Pick it up a little bit more again. Nice and tall as we do, shoulders above the hips. Let's get the hands out to the side. Knees are still coming up in, in front. As if you're pushing something out to the side, pushing water away from you. And if there is any exercise that you find a little bit too difficult, like we will be doing a little bit of squatting, a little bit of lunging, but how far you go into those exercises is up to you. Smaller will be easier. If there is an exercise that you find is not suitable, too much pressure on the knees, whichever, go back to something simple, like just marching on the spot. So that way you don't stop moving for that exercise, you keep moving, just find a different exercise. From there, bring the hand across the body. Let's pick up the speed a little bit more. Let's get my water out of the way. Remember, have that water nearby if you need it. So nice fast arms, push the hands across the body. Let's start getting the knees up again, so opposite. Up, 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 push, push, push. Keep that back comfortable whenever we bring a little bit of movement to the side, whenever we get that little bit of a turn into the body. Keep yourself as tall as you can. Stretch the hand across if you can as well. Bigger movements mean more effort. But keep that pace. You can always do smaller movements and just work a little bit faster. And that'll get that heart rate up plenty as well. From there, open up. Arms at right angles and lift the knees. So pack deck with the arms, bring the elbows, shoulder height and keep them moving. The hands 
and the elbows come to meet in the middle, keep the shoulders comfortable. Lower will be a little bit easier on the shoulders. So any shoulder issues, the higher you lift, the tougher it is. But remember, you can drop them down again if there's any issue and keep that pace going. Try and lift that knee nice and high. And as I said, you can take it a little bit tougher if you want. If you want, bring a little bit of a bounce, bounce, a little bit of a hop on that standing leg. But again, that's going to add more pressure. So stay at an easier level if you need to. Doesn't need to be a big, just a little lift. And because we're bringing in that little bit of a hop, there's going to be a lot more effort needed as well. We're going into squats. I'm going to turn sideways, stay where you are from there. Sit the butt back and work up and down. Bring the hands front as you sit the butt back. Keep the knees behind the toes. Deeper will be tougher. Squats are brilliant exercises, but they don't suit everybody. Mainly because usually we go too much with it, we go too deep with it, or we do it with weights. Body weight is usually plenty. Light weights if you want. And if it doesn't feel right, small, small, small movements. If you can drop the hips level with the knees, do try and get that back strain all the time. And also the way my shoulders and my hips are staying in line. Shoulders go forward, but we're still keeping that back nice and straight. We're not bending as we go down. Five more. So great exercise squats. Two. And last one. And marching again. Let's go. Let's pick it up once more. Stay with that exercise if you have to. Let's bring it into, let's shorten it up and go a little bit faster. But let's go into a little bit of a jog. So if you can pick that pace up, do get those elbows working by your side. Again, you can keep it at a slower pace by all means. But even this little shuffle on our feet, it's not going to put that much pressure on your joints. It's just a little movement from one foot to the other. We're going into fast arms. We're going to push them out in front. We're going to take the legs out of it for the first one. So fast arms, 10 seconds. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to gently jogging or marching, whichever suits. And if you are marching, you can get those bit, nice big movements. So we want to work with a little bit of speed. If we do work with a little bit of speed, it really gets everything working a little bit more. And very important for your digestive system to, to work with a little bit of a faster movement. And that's what happens with a lot of people. They don't, they might do their exercise, but they're never really getting our heart rate up enough to get that digestive system working. 10 more fast, let's go. Five, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and jogging again, gently, just shuffling from one foot to the other. We're gonna go into a lunge, step, and push back. Doesn't need to be a big movement. Step, and push back. Step, and push back. If you, if you do do too big a movement here, then it can put pressure on the knees. So keep it comfortable, just a small one, and let's keep moving. Push back, push. Push off those toes to push yourself back up. I'm gonna go sideways just so you can watch that a little bit better with me. That's a better angle. So generally, with you can drop that knee down, but that puts more pressure on both knees. Just step, little, Drop of that back knee and keep your knees behind your toes again of that front foot. Once more, a lot of balance in this exercise as well. 
So if your balance is tricky, back to our front and jogging out the spot gently. Let's get the arms working out in front as we do it again. We're going to go fast. This time we're bringing back in the legs. So it's fast with the hands, fast with the legs as well. Stay with a marching, but you're still picking that pace up. Three, two, one, let's go. Fast, small and fast. Doesn't need to be big, massive movements. Just works with speed. Four, three, two, one. Big movements. March. Get those arms stretching forward and back. Get a little bit of power into those hips, lifting nice and high. And again, we're back to punching with those arms. We're going to cross the body this time. Legs will stay still. Cross. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, no rest. Out to the side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. March. Big. Stretch the arms. Try and go straight arm, almost like a soldier marching. Nice tall posture. Very important to be lifting those knees if you can. It's an important movement for the hip. Keeping the back tall and keep that center nice and strong. Draw the belly button gently in and try and do that throughout your day as well because that will help keep your posture and keep everything nice and strong and keep the back strong. From there, we're stepping the foot back behind. So step, step, step. Nice and gently, get a little knee bend. But step and push, push, push. Doesn't need to be a big movement. Doesn't need to be a knee bend. But if you can, let's get that knee bending. Push, 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 push. Remember, small movements, easier. Big movements, tougher. Stretch. Try and get that length outside of the shoulder, down towards the back. Stretch the shoulder. Once more each side. And again, we're going straight into fast arms. Push one side and the other. Let's go fast. We're going to keep it going this time. No 10 seconds on. Keep it going. Push, 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 push. Almost V-shaped with those arms. It's like bending the knee if you want. I can protect that knee so you're not moving side to side and that knee is coming under strain. It's not twisting in any way. But you can always just keep everything nice and still in the center and just do smaller with the arms. Let's go front side, front side, front side. Nice and fast arms. Okay, keeping the speed. Just getting those arms working as fast as we can. Keep the shoulders comfortable. Five more seconds. Four, three, faster. Two, one. And from there, lift the leg. Lift, lift, lift. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Just getting that little lift. Don't force it up, because it will bring that stretch along the back of the leg. And if the back comes under any pressure doing this, then you're, it's the knee lifting that you do. Okay, straight. Just getting a little kick out in front. Again, we're going back to our pec deck, bring it forward, and let's lift the knees. Lift, lift, lift. Let's go faster arms now. Let's really speed it up. Let's work a little bit faster from here on in. We're not going to be slowing it down, taking any slower exercises like the last exercise, which was a little bit of a stretch. Let's keep that pace going. Remember, bring a hop. If you want, bring that little bit of a hop. Even if it's only a small little one. 
Let's keep moving. Again, fast arms punching out in front, jogging on the legs. Let's go. Keep it fast. Stretch the arms out if you can, but more importantly, let's keep our pace up from here on in. On the toes all the time. And again, just do your marching and punching to make it easier, to make it slower. If there's too much pressure on. Either way, just get through the video, finish it out and keep working. Cross the body, let's go again. Fast, 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 fast. Let's lift those knees. Lift, 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 lift. Again, it doesn't need to be too high with the knees. Fast, 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 fast. Just get the lift into the legs and keep the arms working. So that heart rate should be well up at this stage. We're gonna keep it up. Keep it fast, keep working. Stand, one leg, toes can still be on the ground, out to the side of the hands, shoulders, fast, circles. Try and keep the hands behind the shoulders a little bit, or rather bring them a little in front and a little behind. We'll try and work them back behind. Standing on one leg is our aim, but without those toes on the ground, it's a little bit tougher to keep that balance. Change, reverse the circles as well. Watch that balance if you do, readjust if you have to, and don't lose that balance. Or just drop the toes, but try and keep that weight on that standing leg all the time. Nice fast circles. Keep it fast, stretch the arms. Remember, lower is easier. You can always do them down there. Three more, two, one, bicep curl. Get them fast. We're gonna get our heels coming up behind, one and the other. And let's keep it fast. Keep the knee joint comfortable, because when you flick that heel up to kick your own butt, the knee does bend fully, so keep it comfortable. Go less of a bend than with that knee joint under strain. We're gonna get as much movement as we can. So keep them working, keep the heels coming up behind, keep the arms working up and down. Again, just working with speed. Now we're going into jumping jacks. Step the leg, changing sides. Now, I did say jumping jacks. This isn't exactly, it's more modified jumping jacks. So you can go into your jumping jacks if you want. I'm going to stay with this exercise. So any issues in the joints, just stay with this. But we can work fast. This might be modified, doesn't mean we take it easier. We still work fast. So see how quick the movement, are, movement is. And again, shoulders can go as high as is comfortable for that joint, touching the toe out. And that way, we're still getting that heart rate working, we're still keeping it working, even though we're not doing a full jumping jack. Keep those joints comfortable at all time. Once more each side, back to marching, let's go. Small, fast. So keep it smaller, faster movement. Again, we're not lifting everything very high, it's just keeping things moving, keeping the heart rate going. And that gives you that option if you have any injury in the knee or whichever, maybe the hip, the back, whichever. But you can't do bigger movements, you can still do smaller, faster movements. We find a way to move, we find a way to modify our exercise. So that our, any of our injuries, our issues or whatever, they don't drag us down. We find a way around it, we keep moving. So the most important thing is to keep moving, even throughout your day. We're going fast again. This time, we're gonna keep it fast with the hands. So from there, punch it out in front. Keep that speed. 
We're going to work out to the side as well. We're going to work across the body. We're going to work up and down by our side. We're going to keep the arms moving. We're going to finish, the, finish off nice and strong. Fast, fast, fast. Out to the side. Let's go. Let's go with speed. Don't even have to work the legs. You can get the legs working again if you want. I'm not. I'm just going to work with speed with those arms as fast as you can. Cross the body. Let's go. Again, I'm working fast. You fall into whatever pace you can, whatever speed you need to go to just keep moving. If, uh, if you think that I'm going too fast, forget about it. Just work with what pace you can. That's what you do for any of these videos, for any video, fitness video, for any fitness class. You go at your own pace and challenge yourself without taking it too easy. And from there, up and down by your side. Let's go. Elbows up and down nice and high. After this, we're going to go up to the ceiling. We're going up above our head. If the shoulders don't like it, you stay shoulder height out in front. Let's go. So out in front if you need to. Up, up, up. Again, keep that pace with the hands above the shoulders. It's a little bit tougher because we're not used to working those arms up above the head as much. Let's keep it fast. Five more seconds, keep it fast. We're going into squatting. I'm turning sideways, keep working. Squat however low you want. Each time we go down, we punch. Six punches, one, two, three, four, five, six. Back up, drop, one, two, three, four, five, six. Back up, drop. Keep it as fast as you can. Let's add in punching when we're up as well. So start with at the top six. Drop, one, two, three, four, five, six. Back up, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back up. Next time we drop, we stay down, however low you can, and just keep punching. Lower will be tougher. Stay small, bend in the knee if you have to, which is more up there. Quarter squat, half squat. If you can drop a little bit lower, do. Keep that upper body working. We should be really getting that heart rate working now and really getting that blood pumping. Five more seconds. Back up in front, let's go. Stretch them out in front and bring them out wide. Use the back of the hand to push the air out. Let's lift, 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 lift. So you're getting the outside of the arms working a little bit more. Those shoulders should be getting tired, or they should be tired, if you're working hard enough. Let's reverse it. Elbows back, out around. Let's go, nice and fast. Lift, 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 lift. Shoulders comfortable all the time, lower easier, shoulder height if you can. And we're going into that last minute on. We're going to go fast. We're punching out in front. We're jogging with the legs. Let's go. Just keep moving. Again, slow down, march if you can. Or even just take the legs out of it and just do the arms. Either way, fast, 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 fast. Small movements. That way you're not putting too much pressure in the joints. Fast. Last one on, let's work hard. Twenty seconds left. Let's get those arms working. For the last ten, we're gonna work just arms. Stop the legs. Ten, nine, eight, fast, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. We'll do an extra ten. Nine, faster. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more time. Ten, nine, finish it out. It's definitely the last one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Grab a quick drink if you need it. You should need it if you're working hard enough. And let's get a little bit of a stretch. So bring the arm across the body 
and get the shoulders, a lot of shoulder work there, a lot of arm work. If your legs don't like doing certain exercises like squats, lunges, whatever, you can work the upper body, you can get the heart rate up, change arms, so that arm comes across, you pull it further across. So you can get that heart rate up, you can work plenty by even just moving the arms. If you're working fast enough, we can get working. Let's get a hamstring stretch, lower back comfortable, you can always keep that back nice and tall, you don't need to go down too low. And just feel the stretch, so you're bending forward, go sideways for a better view. And so notice that my back is still straight. Now you can go down into that, that position and that can give you a stretch into the back as well. But if you have any lower back issues you, and it doesn't feel right, you can stay a little bit taller and just still concentrate on stretching those hamstrings down the back of the legs. Little point with the hamstrings, if they are tight, they will pull on your hips. They will pull on those two, the two places that they attach to on the hips. And if they pull on that, then they pull your hips into a different position. They pull them, they rotate them back. So good to stretch those hamstrings. And relax. All right, guys, all done for today. Um, remember the different levels that we went through that I mentioned at the start of class. You can do that, you can do this class and do it. The first time you do it, you can take it a little bit easier. The next time you can take it a little bit faster pace. Uh, you can even add in some dumbbells, some light dumbbells. Although just remember that even a light dumbbell can put a lot of pressure on certain areas. So you gotta be careful with that. Okay, thanks a million guys. And I will see you again soon. Well done, bye bye.